Today, we have an awesome back to school design hand painted by Stephanie Fountain right now on Nail School. Hand painting is something I know a lot of people freak out about or struggle with. Um, Steph is the perfect person to show you. She, I've seen her personally do like 600 sets of nails <laughs> for a Fenty Beauty um, runway show. And this was in Paris a few years back, but I saw her hand paint letters. She knows what she's doing. This design is cool. <laughs> and I'm not a big back to school fan, but I love this design. Steph, talk to us about what we have going on today. It's too cool for school. Oh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and what is going to be too cool for school about this whole design? So um, it's back to school season, right. and a lot of the time, you know, teachers want to get in the spirit too. Yep. And so uh, I've had a lot of experience with that in my own clientele, and um, there's just some fun kind of, it's cool for the kids to see, sure. you know, just like the quirky little, like, you're in the spirit, you're yeah. ready for the school season to start. Of course. Um, so just some tips and tricks on hand painting with mission control. I've seen the design you guys are gonna love this, trust me. It's really, really good. Um, I'm super excited. Steph, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. All right, so the products that we're gonna be using is Manicure Black and Beige 102, Go Time, Heaven Help Me, and Mission Control Gel Paints, um, Overdrive, Orbit, Clutch, Solar, Discovery, and Power Up. All right, let's get started with the demo. Okay, so I've laid out my mission control gel paints on the tile because I like to work off of the tile rather than going into the pot. I've filled her nails and prepped them, so I'm going to start with my protein bond and apply that from cuticle to free edge all the way down the nail, and this is going to prevent the product from chipping. Do the same thing over here, cuticle to free edge. Now I know I won't have any issues with chipping or peeling. First, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my base color. So for this finger, we're gonna do the pencil design. So I'm gonna take my Mission Control Solar and I'm gonna apply that just through the center because I know at the cuticle area is going to be the eraser part of the pencil. And then down here at the tip will be more of the wooden and lead piece. So I don't need to pull it all the way through I'm just going to do it through the center. Okay. And for the other one, I'm using my Go Time Heaven Help Me color. And we're just going to apply a nice even layer from cuticle to free edge. Getting that nice white because this one is going to be our paper. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and stick her in the light for one minute. Okay, we're gonna take her out of the light and go ahead and do a second coat of both the yellow and the white. And with the Mission Control gel paint, you can paint it on just like a regular polish. It doesn't have to be used just for your artwork. It can be used as a full coverage. And a second coat of the Heaven Help Me will get that really nice full coverage white. Add a little bit more on this one. All right, and go ahead and stick her in the light for another 60 seconds. Okay, we're gonna take her out of the light and grab those mission control colors back again. I have a little mix right here with uh, Beige 102 and Num Num. 
I'm going to use that for the eraser color. And I'm just using my gel brush since I'm covering a bigger surface here. And just applying it nice and even, making sure I don't get it on her cuticle, but nice and close. And it really doesn't have to be like super precise. It is a pencil design. And we're also going to kind of make a line across with the silver. Okay. And I'm going to take my beige 102 and apply that right at the tip for the wooden part of the pencil. Now I'm going to take my striper brush and I'm going to use that Orbit Mission Control and use that to paint the really fine lines of the paper. So I'm just going to start right across at the edge. You can start at top or bottom, whatever you prefer. And when you're painting really fine lines, it's all about the pressure. If you use a lighter pressure, you're going to have a finer line. If you want to create a thicker line, you just use a little more pressure. So we're going to go ahead and repeat that all the way up the nail. And I'm actually moving her finger to make sure that I can create a nice straight line rather than trying to turn my brush to the other side. I'm also using my pinky to balance my hand so that if you do have shaky hands or if you've had too much caffeine, that's not a problem. Just use your pinky to balance. And when I'm pulling through, I'm not dabbing in because that'll give you a little part, like a ball on the tip of your brush. I actually drag the color out to kind of get, bring out more of a point to my brush. And just a light touch and rotating her hand. And now we're going to do the binding of the paper. So I'm just going to take and go all the way up. Again, I'm using my hand to kind of balance on her hand just to create a really nice straight fine line. Now I'm going to take my brush and just make very, very small circles for the little holes that would be on the paper to go into the binder. And when I'm creating a circle, I, um, I just kind of make a C. I do one side at a time rather than trying to bend my brush to make a full circle. And if you wanted to, you can flash cure your mission control along the way if you're worried about your line staying in place or about r bumping into something or messing it up you can flash cure it for a few seconds at a time okay i'm gonna go in the light for 30 seconds okay we're gonna pull her out of the light and we're gonna finish out the design with just a few little finishing touches i'm gonna take my black at the tip to create the lead of the pencil Make sure we got a nice sharp little edge here. And just for added detail, I have a little bit of clutch, which is a brown, and I'm just gonna kind of go ahead and trace that pencil line that I had here. And since pencils usually have um, the lines going down them, I'm going to take some of my solar and just mix that in with a little bit of clutch and give me kind of that darker, dirty, like a wood kind of color. Paint straight up and down the pencil in 
again just those really fine lines and this one doesn't really have to be as straight because they're just the wood grains in the pencil which are not always perfect And again, make sure you're using your finger as a brace and it's super easy to paint the fine lines. And I'm just wiping my brush off on my table towel when I go to pick up a different color. Now I'm going to use that Discovery, it's a nice silver, and we're going to use that as the metal for the where the pencil meets the eraser. And this is where you can kind of perfect if you had felt like you had made it a little too messy, the silver is going to straighten all that out because you can't see through it. So we have our nice little number two pencil design. Again, I'm going to take and wipe my brush on my table towel. And then over here on our piece of paper, we want to make sure that she's an A plus student. So we're going to give her a nice little grade on here. Tracy always did so well in school. She got an A plus. Alrighty, so we're going to stick those in the light for 30 seconds and then we'll just come through with top coat. Okay, we're going to take her out of the light and grab our top coat. I'm going to use Manicure Top so it cures in 30 seconds and it was what was on my desk. So okay, so we're going to apply the Manicure Top from Cuticle to Free Edge. Manicure has a very nice high shine and it cures in 30 seconds, which is my favorite. And it works over just about everything. All right, so back in the light for 30 seconds. Okay, we're gonna take her out of the light and use our Manicure Cleanse to get rid of that tacky dispersion layer. And a little rose oil for her cuticles. And we're good to go. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of like literal nail art. And I'll be honest with you, especially back to school, this is a cool flipping set. <laughs> if I was gonna wear a set of nails, I would totally wear these. I I love what you did and the freaking composition that you, did, you actually did. I know you didn't see that. She gave you sort of the hand painting on, on two nails, but, um, and then she did the rest off camera. But I love this design. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Thank you. It's really good. Thank you. How often did you actually have to do this, like back in the day in the salon? Like, like seriously, how often did you have to do this? Uh, I had two clients that really stick out to me that I had for a lot of years. Okay. So it was usually every year during back to school. Got so it. we would switch it up a little bit, you know, just like the traditional like ruler, apple, yeah. you know, school things. Um, kind of started getting away from the green chalkboard since yeah, yeah, 2019. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so usually a couple times a year at least. Beautiful back to school look, Steph. And we'll see you next time on Middle School.